Hey, what's up, guys? Oz here. This is episode number two of Opening Routes, starting with downhill on the A flag. And when you start A flag, always skip the flag. I like to pull out the knife just to run a little bit faster. You want to go straight to B. Now, instead of hopping on the flag, when you approach, you want to make sure there's no one that's beat you to the spot with maybe extreme conditioning or something that wants to get behind the wall over here. Usually snipers will do that, but what you do when you approach is um, I like to aim down sight around this corner, and sometimes I will jump the corner just to get to that spot a little bit faster. It's all about beating the enemy to this spot so that your team can cap B. Now, what you look for is you look for people that turn this corner here. You want to make sure you use the little ski lift to your left as cover to shield you from the window. Because as you can see, if you stand down in the open right here, you're wide open to someone with the light machine gun or sniper to pick you off. So you want to make sure you shield yourself from that, edge your way out, pick off anybody that comes around the corner. Uh, if you need B, pop, around, pop out around the back and pick off somebody in the window. When I, when I make sure the coast is clear, like if nobody's coming down the back path and I have a teammate to help, I'll hop on the B flag such as this. Make sure that you watch the stairs straight ahead because that's where a lot of snipers will pick you off from. When I approach, after we have secured B, I approach this way. This is the rock that I want to get behind. I always check the window, and if my team is pushing the right side of the map, like the far right pathway, then I know that I need to watch these stairs right here because they're going to spawn on the other side of that little ski lift building. So I usually patrol right here for a little bit. I'll watch this if the, my team's pushing the right side. If my team's pushing the ski lift area on the left, obviously you're not going to look that way. You're going to start pushing up this way because they'll be spawning um, over here next to you behind the building. And what I like to do is I like to come inside this building and I'll usually wait it out, pop back out, and then circle around the left side, if that makes any sense. Let's take a look at this in real time. It's actual game footage. And I approach the exact same way I told you. And the guys are right where I told you they would be. Make sure you aim down sight around this corner. Always check the window up there. And since I do have a V side up, I approach really hard and I go after these guys get a nice five-man feed since my team is pushing the building I immediately cut through the middle that's something that you guys got to pay attention to is always pay attention to where your teammates are pushing do not shadow them instead take an alternate route cut off another line of sight this is how you would approach on the opposite side um, it's the same exact way just you know <laughs> the opposite you aim down sight around this corner now you will usually beat the enemy to this spot if you spawn on this side you do have to watch out for submachine gun users, so as soon as you get in front of this little ski lift thing, start aiming immediately. Always, <clears throat> before you approach this way, always check the window. So what you're going to look for is when you turn this corner, you're looking right here. You're going to strafe out. You're going to look up into the window, and then you're going to immediately sprint. Don't stand out in that area too long because you're really vulnerable. You're out in the open. So you, I always try to get into this area right here. And what I'm actually looking for in this area is people that are spawning right where the A flag is by the building and they're coming around the corner. What they want to do is they want to go to that rock right here on the left. They want to go over here. There's also a spawn that you got to watch out for over here behind, behind this building. And what they do, if they notice you're behind the rock, they'll come to this area right here and they'll try to pick you off either with you know an assault rifle or sniper. So... <clears throat> that's where you're gonna look when you're sitting here you want to make sure that you don't expose yourself to that area up there if you see somebody's there do not challenge him just immediately back off and go to the left side like you'll see in the gameplay that I'm gonna actually show you guys but yeah um, when I tr when I'm trying to push a this is how I approach I hug this wall here I only will do this if my team is pushing the left side pathway like if my team's coming from that direction and I know they're spawning over here Here's how I approach. First, I check the rock up here. Next, I check the spawn point, which is right here. I edge my way out. If this is clear, I glance up top, make sure no one's there, and I keep aiming down sight around this corner, and I come up behind this piece of cover. And I'm looking at this spawn point directly right here because that is where they will spawn at in this situation. And if that's completely cleared out, I immediately push forward. I check, make sure no one's coming this way, and I'll pop out, check that spawn point. If that's clear, I hop on the A flag, and I get the capture. Let's take a look at this in real time. Alright, so I spawned a little bit to the uh, right of the C flag, so I don't cut through the building. Instead, I come directly here, immediately start aiming. 
like so. You want to make sure you're always aiming at jump the corner, take out the trophy system, take out the guy that's not looking at me. As I approach, I immediately cut this way for a reason. I have a team. I had a teammate that was trailing me, so I knew that I don't need to look that way. If your teammate is taking one of your spots, immediately cut to a different area and take a different line of sight. Let's take a look at this in slow motion this time. So I take this guy out. I take out his trophy system to get the points. I take out the guy that's not looking at me. Now pay attention to my teammate right here. I, in, in real time, I'm watching this happen. I'm, first, I'm going towards the rock, but I see he's sprinting next to me, so I know he's going to the rock. I'm not going to shadow him and bunch up and poten potentially give the enemy two free kills. I immediately cut this way, and bam, look what happens. It leads to... What is this? Five kills and an assist because my teammate snipe that guy anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video that's opening routes downhill leave a comment let me know what map you guys want to see next and i'll do the one that has the highest votes catch you guys next time thanks for watching peace